A refugee camp in Damascus has been attacked by Syrian fighter jets, killing at least 25 people, according to opposition activists. They were reportedly struck as they tried to shelter in a mosque. The attack came just hours after Syria's deputy foreign minister told this programme the government is not targeting civilians. A warning, this report from our chief correspondent Alex Thompson does contain some distressing images. For much of the day, our MOOC, the Palestinian area of southern Damascus, the focus of street fighting. The area has seen increasing shelling and ground fighting across the past two months. Today, groups of Syrian and Palestinian rebels tried to expel pro-government Palestinian fighters from the Popular Front militia. As confrontations grew, the regular Syrian army supported the front fighters with artillery and then airstrikes. And in the course of that, the Al Hosseini Mosque was hit, and there were clearly a large number of casualties. What we're able to show indicates at least 20 people killed, many more injured. Rebel sources quick to say it was a civilian massacre by the government. The government equally claiming fighters were using the mosque as a base. There has, of course, been fierce fighting across the southern suburbs of Damascus for around six months now. But today's attack in the Palestinian refugee camp at Yarmouk does represent a significant escalation of the fighting here in the capital. So there were assaults on the ground at street level and assaults by air. The smoke from both visible several miles away across the capital. By chance, the attack happened just after Channel 4 News had interviewed Syria's vice foreign minister, Faisal Maqdad. All those who kill innocent civilians are killers and terrorists, and they should be accountable as such. That includes your government? No, we are not killing citizens. We are not killing you innocent are. people. You are? Absolutely. You are killing civilians? No, absolutely not. You deny the government is killing any civilians? You're shelling civilian areas? No, no, these are not civilian areas. These are empty places from which all the civilians were pushed away by the terrorist organizations. That denial will seem absurd to many. Life may appear relatively calm in parts of the capital, but there's fighting north to south across Syria. The government's on the defensive, the national airport's shut. Do you deny that picture I've just painted? I mean, for absolutely, instance. Absolutely, absolutely. But, but, but Minister, the airport is, is the they airport been, is closed. They have been lying. Yes, that's, that's not a that's lie. Correct. That's because a Because this is a political game, and because if you go to Homs, Aleppo, and so on, you may see something which is really not. I mean, as we want it, but Aleppo is still in the hands of the government. Homs is still in the hands of government. But after today in Yarmouk. A little bit less of the capital is in the hands of the government. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Damascus.